well, well, well. Back here again. Before we start this video, I'd like to take a sip from my yogi tea and read it off to you. It is not talking of love, but living in love that is everything. Oh, that's sweet. On with the video. Hello, my name is Philip Marillo. The date today is... The time right about now is a... Uh... And welcome to my story. Good morning, travelers. Hope you had a beautiful week today. It is Friday once again, and we are here with another Philip Murillo video log. I am Philip Murillo, and I run this channel called The Four Earth Show, where we talk about RV and van life. We talk about travel, just adventurous lifestyles, and um, kind of a little bit of motivation in there. So if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and consider watching some of my other videos, because I. I promise you, you're not gonna be disappointed in that. Before we start this video, and um, we do have a lot to talk about today, so strap in, sit down, and um, get comfy. Make yourself some tea, just like I did here. Cheers. So before we start this video, I wanna say to you guys that I am so appreciative of you guys. The past few videos I've been putting out has been getting some awesome support from you guys in the form of comments. Um, some of you are reaching out, saying that this kind of new editing style and technique that I'm doing is really working and you guys really enjoy it. So I am gonna just keep continuing to make every video a little bit better than the last one. And so that I can continue to grow here and we can continue to grow together. So all in all, just thank you so much. I am so appreciative of it. and. Um, let's get right into it. But first, do you guys like free stuff? Of course we get free stuff. Do you guys love free stuff? So do you like free stuff? Well, here's the thing. I just got back from a year long vacation and along my travels, I picked up so many awesome things that I would like you to have the opportunity to win. So we are doing the first ever Four Earth Show giveaway and this is going to be huge the only details i'm giving away right now is that once i hit 200 subscribers when i'm making this video right now i'm at 192 so at 200 subscribers we will be doing this giveaway so make sure you subscribe if you want to enter to win some amazing prizes and gifts that will be sent right to you free of charge all you got to do is subscribe and um, details will come soon thank you guys so much back to the rest of the video so I know from the title and thumbnail that the topic of this video is kind of like, what? Like, what's he gonna be doing? What's the near future? And we'll get into that, but there's a few things that I kind of want to discuss and go into and explain to you guys, because that's what these video logs are for, is a way for me to really connect with the audience and really like talk to you guys. So the first few things, um, I mean, you can kind of see puppies over there. Um, I really want to explain Rasta. So I'm gonna pull Rasta out. You've seen her in some videos, but uh, let's really explain who she is and She's my dog, let's just let's just start there. So, Rasta, come here. So yes, this is Rasta, um, my little Italian Greyhound Chihuahua mix. And as you can see, like she has a very long body, but then her ears are just so big. How oh, was this? <laughs> I don't know if she likes this. Um, she loves me though. Yeah, I want her to be more a part of this channel. I want her to be um, in things because when I'm traveling, I can't take her with me. She's such a small dog, she throws up in the car and it's uh, just an awful thing. And since she's not like a baby, she can't just get over, um, you know, car sickness. So I do have to keep her here. And plus she's just like best friends with Jessie, who you've seen earlier, because this is the type of dog she is. She'll just um, sit on my, on my shoulders and chill there all day. I think that's a Chihuahua in her, but the Italian Greyhound, man, it's so funny. She's so fast. I love you. Thank you for the kisses. So yes, I hope you enjoy this dog because she's gonna be in a lot of videos. You'll see her just sitting on my lap and things or I'll be taking her along with me. So, um, Rasta, say goodbye to the camera. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. All right, number one, intro to the video, check. Number two, explain the giveaway, check. Number three, show um, Rasta a little bit. Hey. Check. And the fourth thing that we gotta talk about um, is the reason that things have just been so hectic, man. So crazy. This uh, short little montage is gonna explain a little bit, but um, I got a new laptop and whenever you're making weekly videos or daily videos or editing every single day on a laptop, you know exactly how hard it is to move everything over. On top of that, I'm moving from Apple MacBook to a Windows 10 platform. So I filmed everything with my homie Liam, my day one friend, and we unboxed it. We went through it and um, downloaded the essentials that uh, I needed on it. So I will see you guys over there. Let's do it. 
All right, what is up, everybody? Oh, you can't see me. What is up, everybody? I'm here with uh, Liam. What's up? We go way back. First grade. Yeah, first grade. What, Placer Elementary? Yeah, right up the road. Right actually. up the road here in Loomis. So this is cool. This guy knows a lot about tech, knows a lot about... Just a, not really a passion, just, it interests me. Yeah, you know, interests at all, interests us all. But uh, today I thought who, you know, better to go to than Liam um, with this. So we are gonna open this bad boy up here. And this is my new laptop. So this is basically why I am having a tough time getting videos out <laughs> and being consistent with things and working on projects because I'm transitioning over. I actually wanna say this first. I've been thinking in a while, I uh, am transitioning over to Windows. I'm getting rid of my MacBook, I'm getting rid of Apple. So I wanna say it here first, fuck Apple. <laughs> fuck Apple, I don't have anything Apple related. I am not using anything Apple, so I can finally say that. But uh, yeah, so paper, get that shit out of here. Liam, right. you wanna? I'm gonna uh, lift this bad boy up. You got a certified refurbished. Right. Yeah. Certified refurbished. Okay, so, so that's one of the things. That's, that's good. Um, I was a little skeptical on the page because it said Amazon renewed. And sometimes the reviews can be bad for those, but if it's HP certified, then I think we can trust it. This is something funny. I sent myself a gift. <laughs> nice, and they. It, what, what, what a the gift from Philip. It just says, enjoy your gift. <laughs> nice. You didn't personalize the message? I thought I was going to personalize well, we it. Well, we can uh, get this box out of here. And I don't actually uh, need that anymore. So, All right. So All right. one of the main things, I guess, um, that you were saying earlier is that this is refurbished. And um, we've never gotten anything. You've never gotten I've anything? never gotten anything refurbished specifically <laughs> off Amazon. So. Yeah. And so this is HP. The story goes. This thing is beautiful. That is beautiful. For a furbished product, oh just at first glance, the outside looks brand new. Oof. Here, we'll lay this plastic out. Oh, that's All right, so we talked about all that stuff. Check. I'm happy, you're happy. Now we're on the same page with what's what's to come. Or are we? No, I don't think we're on the same page at all. I've told barely anyone what's going on with my travels, with where I'm going next, with what I'm doing here. How am I in a room? And I've kind of let it slip a little bit that, you know, I'm working for the winter. I uh, have a room. I have a little studio space now, which is nice. And um, yeah, saving up money to be able to travel in the in the near future. So I'm not gonna tell you yet where I'm traveling to. I wanna focus, um, you know, especially for the new year with my new documentary coming out called The Four Earth Show. With that coming out, I really wanna focus on that journey in the first year of my travels because I learned so much, I gained so much, and there's so much knowledge and, you know, awesome footage of like the beauty of this world throughout there. So I want to put that out and I want to focus on that stuff for now. But as soon as that stuff starts coming out, I will be talking about it more and uh, my plans here for traveling and in, in the RV, where I want to go, what I want to see and um, you know, things like that. But right now we are here and that is all that matters. Let's just enjoy our time together while we have it. So let's dim the lights a little bit. Let's get deeper and talk a little bit about how my life and RV life are right now and uh, when they will come together again. So the big question for a lot of people that especially I don't talk to on a regular basis and um, you know, for the people that are really wondering what's going on with my RV and where I'm at with it, why I'm not in it, why you really don't see it much. And you will, I uh, plan on making some videos uh, revolved around like educating and like the best things to do. And I think those would be set best in an RV. I go to my RV weekly, um, sometimes daily. It's uh, pretty much right down the street. It's stored somewhere safe. It's not gonna get damaged or anything. It's just gonna be exactly how it was. Um, it's free and I'm you know, beyond grateful. I'm just so thankful that I have an, an opportunity and a place to do something like 
that and, and be able to store it somewhere. And I kind of understand that this full time, you know, title that I put on my Instagram or around here of living in an RV may be kind of off centered. I'll, I'll probably take that down so I don't just look like a big douchebag. It really is. I really um, plan and put a lot of my energy and time towards saving for more travel. Um, whether that be in the RV or out of a backpack traveling the world, I am full time committed to the idea of that and the idea of being very nomadic. And you know what I mean? I'm not trying to go to Alaska right now when it's like the dead of winter, it's frozen. Um, there's snowstorms all over, you know, going down to Southern California is like blocked off. I mean, when do you ever see that? And Southern California is a place where it's like, that's where you'd go in the, in the winter. Um, you know, to Arizona and New Mexico. And I traveled a lot around those places. And although I could go to like Baja or Mexico, I just don't think I'm ready. And I don't think me solo should do that. This is not the best idea. What's to come after that? I plan on, you know, in April, March to head out north. Um, so like Oregon, Washington, Montana, Idaho, all, all kind of that north area where it'll be sunny and nice and, you know, in the 70s and not rainy and snowy and all of that. So I will be adventuring all over there as well as a secret place that isn't so secret. It's actually huge. And um, yeah, I just, I just, I talk about it a lot to the people that I talk to daily, but, um, for you guys, you're gonna have to wait. So, all right, that's it. I will be traveling very soon again, um, it, but it feels so nice, like I always have been saying, to have roots in a place, to be able to settle down, have an, like a desk to like make these videos and put out all the content that I've been recording and planning on doing, um, and then start fresh and go on new adventures and new travels and new places around the world and um, learn stuff experience new things, teach new things, just have a, a beautiful time on this earth here because what else is there to do, you know? <laughs> yeah, if you have any questions about like my journey or what's to come, comment them below. Seriously, I want to have these videos be very um, audience written. And if you have any questions or, you know, concerns about what's to come here or, you know, you're just interested in something, comment them below. Um, one thing I am gonna do at the end of the video and end of each video is shout out people that have commented things. So if you have commented before, then expect a shout out because I really appreciate you and I am gonna reply to your comment um, in person at the end of each video like this. So hope you guys enjoy and let's get back to full lighting and a beautiful scenario. All right, guys, that's our episode today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Soon enough, I think these things are going to morph into more like based on one topic. Since it's like the first few episodes and within the month, there's so much stuff coming out. I just want to explain and talk to the audience for you guys. So comment below anything. I try to reply to anyone with that. I have one comment here from, um, I hope I'm saying your name right or whatever your, your channel is named, but it's from uh, an old video. It's called why I'm leaving society to live in an RV at 21 years old. So like I said in the last video, I'm 23 now. And this comment is from Madi. Uh, Maddie concert and it was about seven months ago and she says I say what I feel my whole life I feel too old now to leave and I have kids stay true to yourself and your values love from Holland and that is just so sweet Maddie uh, Maddie um, thank you so much from Holland so it's so appreciated thank you so much for um, reaching out and commenting it, it it hits me so deep, like so much love to you and I hope that you do get to do something like this soon or that you do get to um, you know, get out a little more and um, see the true value of life a little more and I think we all need to do that. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like the video if it was a good one and if I'm doing good. A like really lets me know that like, hey, you're editing and things are getting better. If you don't, then uh, make sure you hit that dislike button so I know that too because I'm all about that uh, communication. But anyways, so much love guys safe travels as always and i will see you next time for another video peace